Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today is Confirmation Sunday. Uh, we have Adam Radke and Carl Betcher going to be confirmed, just two of them, uh, smallest class we've ever had here. Um, but those two have been in a class by themselves the entire time they've been here, that for whatever reason, this particular class has always been just that size, uh, so it's been a, a pleasure being able to get to know them, and they get a little special attention because there's only two of them, um, but we're, we're happy to uh, have all of you here today. Uh, we will be uh, playing a game here uh, as sort of as our tradition at this particular service, uh, and then at the 1030 service uh, will be the actual rite of confirmation and Holy Communion as well, so we invite you to that service uh, as well. Uh, the only announcement I have before we begin our service now is to remind you that Thursday of this week is Ascension Day. Forty days after Easter, Jesus ascended into heaven. That's a significant thing. When he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, it means that he rules and reigns over everything for us. He's making sure that we indeed are carried through this world and brought to our heavenly goal. That's a very important reality and something to truly celebrate. So we invite you to join us for a special worship service this Thursday at 6.30. Our choir's going to sing. We'll be celebrating communion uh, and indeed rejoicing uh, that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So this Thursday, Ascension Day. Other announcements you can read about online or in the bulletin itself. The order of worship for today is here. It's also going to be on the screen. Uh, we're going to start with the hymn, Oh That I Had a Thousand Voices. After the bells ring and Kanye introduces it, we'll stand to sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit. And comes with love and compassion. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead.
show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. may be seated for the scripture readings. Our first reading this morning is from the book of Deuteronomy. So Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who carried the ark of the covenant of the Lord and to all the elders of Israel. Then Moses commanded them at the end of every seven years, in the year for canceling debts, during the Feast of Tabernacles, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord your God at the place he will choose you shall read this law before them in their hearing. Assemble the people, men, women, and children, and the aliens living in your towns, so they can listen and learn to fear the Lord your God and follow carefully all the words of this law. Their children who do not know this law must hear it and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess. This is the word of our Lord. And the epistle is from Paul's second letter to the young pastor, Timothy. You, however, know all about my teaching, my way of life, my purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, sufferings, what kinds of things happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, the persecutions I endured. Yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. In fact, Everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evil men and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you learned it, and how from infancy you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus." All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. This is the word of our Lord. And the Holy Gospel this morning is from St. Luke, the sixth chapter. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? I will show you what he is like who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice. He is like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built his house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. This is the gospel of our Lord.
Reformation uh, at St. John's, as you well know, is a three-year program. Uh, and the first year, uh, we spend time reviewing the Scripture, uh, going over the God's plan of salvation from Genesis all the way through Revelation. And then in the second and third years, when we get into the Catechism uh, and talk about the specific teachings of the Word of God. Included with all that is memory work. Uh, yes, it's important to have that in a person's heart and mind. Uh, and so Adam and Carl have been doing their memory work and generally been doing very, very well. Very, very well. We'll see today. No, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Because <laughs> we're going to have them uh, come on up here and each just do one part here, uh, which is also going to play into my sermon at the 1030 service as well today. So we're going to start with Adam. Adam, would you come on up and go to the microphone, please? Uh, and uh, we spent a lot of time this year on the Apostles' Creed. Apostles' Creed. Uh, last year we did a lot more on commandments and so on, but Creed was this year. And uh, the Creed is, of course, divided into three parts, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Second article has to deal with the Son, and Martin Luther wrote an explanation as to what that second article of the Creed means. So, Adam, what does this mean? Stand a little closer to the microphone. Okay. Uh, I believe that Jesus Christ, true God, begotten of the Father from eternity, and also a true man, born of the Virgin Mary, is my Lord. He has redeemed me, a lost and condemned person, purchased and won me from all sins, from death and from the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy precious blood, with his innocent suffering and death, that I may be his own, and live under him in his kingdom, and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness, just as he is risen from the dead, lives and reigns to all eternity, is most certainly true. 100%. Very, very good. You can have a seat. <laughs> Excellent. We also spent a lot of time talking about communion. Obviously, at the 1030 service today, uh, these two young men will be receiving communion for the first time. Uh, and the words of institution uh, are critical. Uh, and Carl was assigned that. So, Carl, would you come on up here? And tell us, what happened on that night that Jesus was betrayed? On the night he was betrayed, Jesus Christ, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks for it, he broke it, giving it to his disciples, saying, This is my body which has been given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks for it, he gave it to them, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which has been given, which has been shed for you for the forgiveness of sins, and <clears throat> for the forgiveness of sins, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Okay, very, very good. Thank you, Carl. You may be seated as well. And now it's time to have some fun. You get to answer some questions. And this is how we're going to do it. Here's our game for today. Here are today's categories. First one, commandments. Second one, the Apostles' Creed. Then we move to sacraments and definitions. Then we get pastor's choice. And the last one is triads. In triads, your question that you'll be giving has three parts. They always have three parts, okay? And then we go to the board. Here's our board. You guys, do you know how to play Jeopardy? Have you ever played it before? Have you ever watched it? Sort of. Not really sure. <laughs> I, this was my biggest fear, that they wouldn't know how to play this game. You know, like this is for old people and not for young guys. It's for you guys as well, okay? So here's how Jeopardy works. Jeopardy works. Reverse of what we normally do, right? So on the board is going to appear the answer. You have to give the question. You have to give the right question, all right? They're kind of looking at me with glazed eyes, like saying, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes, you'll be able to figure it out. This will work pretty easily. There are six categories. You will pick a category. You can pick whatever dollar amount that you want on there, okay? Uh, the easier ones are the 100, and they get progressively more difficult as we go through. The harder ones are the $500 ones, okay? We will keep, we'll keep score. Pastor Steve is going to keep score over here. Uh, if you get an answer correct, you get the points, obviously. If you get it wrong, it gets deducted from your score. So conceivably, you could end up in the hole, okay? <laughs> but that's only if you get all of them wrong, all right? So... Uh, there was a daily double up here. 
A daily double means that if whoever chooses that one gets to wager however much he wants on that particular question, okay? If you uh, answer the question correctly, you get the points. If you answer the question incorrectly, the other person gets a chance at it, okay? So what's gonna happen is this. You're each gonna get a buzzer. Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> you each get a buzzer on top of it, because when the, when the answer shows up, you can choose if you want to try to answer it or not. If you want to answer it, you've got to buzz in, okay? So, Adam, this is going to be your buzzer. Okay? I know it's a little hard in the back to hear it, but I can hear it up here. And Carl, this is going to be yours. Just the doorbell sound, okay? So what you're going to do, you're just going to hold it in your hand. If you want to answer, I want you to press the button, but because it's possible it could be kind of close, because you both want to answer it. When you, raise, when you do this, I also want you to simply raise it up. That way I'll be able to see and hear and try to figure out which one of you came in first. My decisions are final. <laughs> there is no arguing with me about anything, okay? If you do, I'll take points off the board, all right? It's, it's a dictatorship, that's how it is, okay? I'm no kind Alex Trebek. I'm just here to get this done, okay? So, here you go. Here are your, your things. Do you understand the rules? You'll get it, all right. All right, so um, just very arbitrarily, because Adam was the first one to have to go up here uh, and do memory work, I'm gonna let you, Adam, have the choice. You have to pick a category and a dollar amount. Oh, by the way, before I go any farther, those are all dollar amounts up here. There is no money. <laughs> There is no money given to you. You are not gonna get any cash by walking out of here after having played this game. There will be a prize though, okay? So there will be a prize, but it won't be cash. All right, Adam, you can, oh, by the congregation, if you want to cheer or if you want to boo if they get it wrong, I don't care, uh, feel free. Uh, and if they, if they get it, don't get it, I'm gonna give you guys an answer, uh, give you guys a shot to try to get it as well. Okay, Carl, excuse me, Adam, pick a category. Commandments for how much? You want to just start with the big one. All right, 500. Two, oh, by the way, you cannot buzz in until I finish reading, okay? Two Old Testament practices that pointed ahead to Jesus. Remember, this is under commandments. All right, we're starting off great. <laughs> this is why you start with the $100 ones and get into the pattern of how they work. <laughs> Do any of you have any idea? Passover. Passover could be one of them, yes, absolutely. Also, what commandment, third commandment. What's the third commandment? Sabbath day. Sabbath day pointed ahead to Christ and all the, all the, past, all the festivals as well. Here's the question that we were looking for. What on Sabbath day and the religious festivals? <sighs> okay, got it? Are you getting into this? All right, Adam, you still get to choose. 500 is off the board. Adam, go ahead. Uh, Apostles' Creed for 100. <laughs> Apostles' Creed for 100. Jesus is called this because he paid the price to buy back sinners. Carl. What is Redeemer? Correct. Give him a hand. That's how we go. So Carl gets 100 points. $100, but whatever. Fake dollars. Uh, and that's how it works. Okay, very good. Carl, since you have the, next, the last right answer, you can choose now. Definitions for 200. Not doing what a, per not doing what a person is required by God's law to do. You gotta wait till I'm finished. You gotta wait till I'm completely finished reading, okay? Press it again. But I will give it, I will give it to you anyway. Adam. What is a sin of omission? Correct. 200 points. Okay, Adam. Wherever you wanna go. Commandments for 100. This commandment protects a person's property. Adam. Um. Eh, time's up. <laughs> Carl, you get, that's, minus, that's minus for him. <laughs> you gotta go faster. Adam, do you wanna take a chance at it? What is it? 
Incorrect. Incorrect. Ooh. What's the right? <laughs> What's the right answer? Oh, it's up there. Oh. <laughs> Our tech people are helping you guys. <laughs> All right, uh, Carl, you were the last correct questioner. No, Adam was. Adam, you go pick another one. What's that? No, you can't let Carl go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Say it louder. Sacraments for 100. The words that accompany water to make a baptism. Adam. No, incorrect. Words that accompany water to make a baptism. We did this in class last week. <laughs> What's the right answer? I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The word and the water together make a sacrament. It's not just the water, but it's very specific. the word and the water. Absolutely. Adam, pick another one. You're doing so well. <laughs> Pastor's choice for 100. The ACTS of prayer. Carl was first. Question. Correct for 100 points. We talk about prayer. <laughs> We talk about prayer, and that's just one format that people can use when they pray, if they want to organize a prayer. Adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Supplication meaning the asking for things. Correct. Okay, Carl, your turn. Definitions for 100. Two terms that mean the anointed one. Time's up. You guys know? Oh, come on. Christ and Messiah. You see, we use these terms all the time and people don't even know what they mean. Come on, people. You've all been taught this. You've been all taught this. Christ means anointed one. He's anointed with the Holy Spirit. It's the one that sets him apart as the Savior. And Messiah means the same word as Christ. Okay, one's Greek, one's Hebrew. Okay, Carl. Commandments for 200. This commandment protects a person's reputation. Carl was first. Um, the eighth commandment, we shall not commit Question form. What is the eighth commandment? We shall not uh, commit false testimony against That's correct. It's designed to protect a person's reputation. No false testimony, no lying, no gossip, that sort of thing. Exactly. That was 200, I believe. Are you paying attention? <laughs> Okay, Carl, pick again. Um, Pastor's Choice 200. Three sins that King David committed in his affair with Bathsheba. Carl. Um, what is murder, adultery, and false testimony? I'll let that. The, the false testimony is there because he lied big time uh, to many people about all this. Uh, so that is, I will let that. Yes, he committed murder by killing Uriah, committed adultery with Bathsheba, and then he was lying about it all the way, which is a very good answer. The ones that we had up here was coveting too. Coveting was also part of it. So, yep, very good. Okay, Carl. Okay, now remember with triads, there's three parts to your question. Okay, three parts, all right? So 100 for triads. Three ways that actual sins are committed. Adam, question form. Correct, what are thoughts, words, and deeds? Okay, now Adam, you get to choose. Triads for 200. The threefold office of Christ. Adam. What is prophet, priest, and king? That is correct. Prophet, priest, and king. <laughs> prophet, priest, and king. 
As prophet, he proclaims God's word. As priest, he offered himself as a sacrifice. And as king, he rules. Exactly. Very good. Adam. This isn't that hard. Pick one of the six. <laughs> What's that? Triads. Okay, triads for 300. The three evil forces that work against God's will being done. Carl is first. What is sinful self, sinful world, and God? That is correct. That is correct. We emphasize that big time in the Lord's Prayer when we say, Thy will be done, as opposed to the will of the devil, the world, or our sinful flesh. Very good. Okay, Carl. Sacraments 200. A person should do this before communing. Adam. Um, what is the person not to inspect himself? All right, I'm going to throw this out to the congregation. You decide if he gets the points for this one. He said a person should inspect themselves. The right answer is examine himself. Do you think inspect and examine are the same? Those that say... Yeah. Yeah. They love you, Adam. They I, love you. They I only it's heard, close enough. I only heard one person say What's no. That? I only heard one person say no. <laughs> we'll give it yeah. <laughs> Kyle was the only one who said no. <laughs> so we will, we will let Adam have the points on that one. Examine is the word that's used in the scripture. <laughs> All right, Adam. Apostles' Creed 200. This scientific law states that life comes only from living things. You are too fast. Give it to Carl. What is the, long way the law of biogenesis, correct. And if you're wondering what that has to do with, uh, with the Apostles' Creed, it's under, for God created heaven and earth. And creation, life comes only from living things. God is life, therefore he created life. Exactly. Law of biogenesis. That's the scientific law. Scripture proves that as well. Okay, very good. Carl. Pastor's Choice 300. Pastor's Choice 300. The petition of the Lord's Prayer in which we ask God to strengthen our faith. Time's up. Congregation, what's the answer? Hallowed be thy name. Thank you. And some people that were listening during Lent when I talked about this for five weeks in a row. <laughs> exactly. Very good. Hallowed be thy name. Help us hallow your name. How do we keep your name holy? How do we keep your name set apart? By believing in you. Absolutely. Hallowed be thy name. Okay, next. Carl, you got to pick again. Commandments 300. The opposite of coveting. It is required by the ninth and 10th commandments. Carl. No. Lose some points on that one. Do you want to take a shot at it? The opposite of coveting? Anyone? Contentment. Contentment. It was right on your study guide. <laughs> All right, moving on. Carl. Oh, wait, Adam got... No, you had that wrong. You didn't try it. Carl. Definitions 300. A group of congregations that hold a common confession and practice. Adam. That is correct. A denomination. A denomination. A group of congregations. We talked about that under the creed where I believe in the Holy Christian Church and so on. Okay, Adam, pick. Um, sacraments, for sacraments for 300. The phrase from Matthew 28 that shows infants should also be baptized. Carl. The phrase from Matthew 28. <laughs> You should lose double for that stupid answer. <laughs> Adam, do you want to try? I'm good. You're good? <laughs> no, you're not. 
that? Good would be the perfect answer. What's the answer? All nations. We just talked about this last week, too. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Does it say all nations except babies? The all nations except young children? No, it says all nations, which means all people. Yes, all nations. Okay, um, who's picking here? Carl? Okay, Carl. Apostles Creed 300. These words describe God as all-knowing, all-powerful, and present everywhere. Adam. Question. What is omnipotence, omniscience, and, and uh, omnipresence? That is correct. <laughs> Omniscient, omnip- omnipotent, and omnipresent. Okay, very good. Car- Adam, pick another one. Uh, triads, for triads for 400. Remember, three parts to the answer. Three ways that God makes himself known in the world. Congregation won't get this one either. (laughs) You guys should, though. Okay, time's up. Who knows? Conscience. Conscience. The Word, the Bible. What's the first one? Creation, very good. As a group, you got it. As a group, you got it. creation. You look at creation, know there's a creator. Conscience tells us things are right and wrong. God, there's got to be a standard of morality outside of us, and then also uh, God's word itself. All right, next one, Adam. Were you picking? I think so too. Pastor's choice for four hundred. The first step in Christ's state of exaltation in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Carl, question for him? Correct. What is he descended into hell? That's the first step. Christ's exaltation. Humiliation comes first. He and finally crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, happens after he came to life, and he proves his victory over Satan. So that's the first step listed in the Creed uh, as the state of exaltation. Good. Carl. Commandments for 400. Last one. Wraps up the category. Forbidden by the fifth commandment, it is also known as mercy killing. Carl. No. You're, you're on the right track, but you mispronounced it. You want to try? What's the answer, anyone? Euthanasia. You said euthanism. You were close. You were close. But euthanasia. Euthanasia. Okay? All right, next one. Carl. Um, Apostles' Creed 400. Creed From the Creed, the words that list all the steps in Christ's state of humiliation. Adam? Okay, so I just say the entire list of the yeah. state of humiliation. Yep. Correct. I, didn't, I was wait. Uh, what they, is? <laughs> <laughs> he just puts the question mark at the end. You know, yeah. whatever. That's all. So yeah, very good, very good. I was just waiting to see if you're going to do something with the descent into hell, but you stopped. Yeah, I know you were lucky. It was. It <laughs> they were paying attention. So yeah, exactly. Okay, very good, very good. That's the state of humiliation. Adam, next. Sacraments for 400. Not representation, not transubstantiation, but this. Adam. What is real presence? That is correct. What is real presence? Real presence. Adam's getting excited up here. There are three different understandings of what communion's about. And we as Lutherans believe that the body and the blood are really present. Take, eat, this is my body, and so on. It's really present. Some say it just represents, and then the Catholic Church says it's changed into. That's what transubstantiation meant. Okay, Adam. Definitions for 400. God taking on human form. Carl. What is incarnation? That is correct. 
That is correct. <clears throat> and when, when did the incarnation, this is a, just a question between you and me, when did the incarnation actually take place? Correct, when he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Very good. Okay, Carl, another one. We're getting down to the end. Pastor Choice 500. <laughs> you got the daily double. I have no idea what the scores are. They're right there. Oh, okay. Uh, Carl, you're behind, obviously. We got 1,900 to 800. You can wager any amount that you would like up to $800 because that's what you have. Uh, if you wager 800 and get it, you're going to be at 1,600. If you wager 800 and don't get it, you're going to be at zero. Uh, so it's up to you to decide. Adam does not get a choice, does not get to play on this question at all. This one's only for you. How much do you want to wager, first of all? How much? All of it. True daily double. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a pastor's choice question. Okay. And the answer is, Jesus died to take away our sin. He lived to do this for us. No. <laughs> Do you know the right answer? Um, you live to fulfill the law. Correct. To fulfill the law. Remember, when we, we talk about Jesus, what he did for us, we did two things. It's not just, he died to take away our sins. Everyone can answer that one. But his life was just as important. His life, because he obeyed God completely, and that righteousness, that perfection, was credited to you credited to you so that when God sees you he sees your sins washed away but he sees the righteousness of Christ right there so that was the right answer okay continue uh, Carl you were the last correct question so you can pick again uh, definitions 500 the phrase of the creed that defines the holy Christian church Carl Correct. What is the communion of saints? Okay, Carl, pick again. Uh, Apostles, Creed Apostles' Creed 500. The threefold natural condition of sinful people that requires the Holy Spirit to overcome. Time's up. We are by nature spiritually blind, spiritually dead, and enemies of God. Okay? That was on your study guide, too. Okay? All right, Carl, pick another one. Two, questions, two categories left. Triads for 500. Three part. The three seasons of the church year that follow Advent. Carl? No. He said Christmas, Lent, and Easter. That's incorrect. Car uh, Adam, do you want to try it? Nope. The, what's the correct answer? Christmas, Epiphany, and Lent. You forgot Epiphany in there, okay? And Adam's strategy right now is just to keep quiet. <laughs> he, figures, <laughs> he figures, I'm not saying anything anymore. He, <laughs> He's already put down the buzzer. I'm done. I'm going to win. It's over. <laughs> All right. And then the last, last category. Sacraments for 500. And the answer is, these complete the phrase. These complete the phrase. Where there is forgiveness of sins, there is also, Carl. What is life and salvation? What is life and salvation? Very good. Okay, now we've come to final jeopardy. We've come to Final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy is a little bit different. There's one question left, one answer left. You have to give one answer. Both of you have to participate. You, ha you have to decide how much you want to wager. There's no dollar amount. You can wager up to the amount that you have, okay? You can wager the amount up to you, what you have. I want you to write it on here. There's a line that says wager, so just write pretty big what your wager is, and then I'm going to show you the answer, and then you're going to write your question here. Make sure it's in the form of a question, otherwise it's going to be wrong, okay? This is the jeopardy part about the whole thing, and I'm trusting that since you're in church and this is confirmation, you're not going to cheat by looking at each other's answers, right? Yeah, 
This is how it goes for three years, so I get it. All right, here we go. Here is the final Jeopardy. <clears throat> oh, did you write your wager yet? What, write your wager now based upon the scores that you have, however much you want to risk. Okay, here we go. Here's the Jeopardy answer. This central teaching of the scripture means to declare righteous. Start the timer. Let's see what they have written. Uh, Carl, you were behind, so let's start with you. He answered, what is forgiveness? That is incorrect. That is incorrect. He... That's the price of time. <laughs> and he wagered 500. Okay, let's go to Adam. Adam wrote, what is to justify? Correct. You got it correct. Justification. It's the central teaching of what the Bible is all about. And it means to declare righteous because of what Jesus Christ did for us. He wagered $100. He comes up. Did you add that in already? So our winner for today is Adam Radke. Give him a hand. I told you you don't get any money, but you do get a couple prizes. Uh, first of all, you don't have real money, but I do have chocolate money. Okay, so here, you can get three bags because you won. You get two bags because you came in second. There you go. And then, uh, we also recognize that this is not just a game. This is, this is God's great love for you. I'm going to talk more about that at the 1030 service. Um, but what we really celebrate, obviously, is what Jesus does for us uh, on, on the cross, but also what he does for us by sending the Holy Spirit to us. I can see the Holy Spirit very much alive in both of you. Um, I can see your faith. I can see God working in you to do great things, not only now, but on into the future. Uh, you two are very, very blessed. You are very, very blessed. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it's been fun, challenging to teach you. You know, <laughs> I have less hair now because of you guys. But it's been, it's been fun. It's, it has been, and, I, and I've appreciated it. So we just want to give each of you a cross as well, uh, simply to remind you, uh, indeed, how much you are worth to God. Okay? Let's give them a hand for a nice job. Okay, and now we are going to uh, continue our worship service with the offering. Um, during the offering, if you haven't yet signed the friendship register, if you would do that, we'd appreciate that very much. Thank you.
You see that the next part of our service is prayer of the confrabands. This is actually your prayer, okay? The two of you. Now you have your choice. You can sing it, just the two of you. Or, or we can ask the whole congregation to sing it with you. Which do you prefer? What is the second one? The, what do you mean? Jeopardy. Oh. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <sighs> See, this is what I've had to do all three years, or all two years. This is how it goes, and it's been a challenge, but we're going with the congregation, we'll sing it with you. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean to make light of it. I mean, this prayer is very, very sincere. Uh, and this is a time of day when we pray for you. And at the 1030 service, the congregation is going to sing a prayer specifically for you. But at this service, I want you guys to think, this is my prayer. This is what I'm praying on this particular day. Uh, a very significant day. And you're truly asking the Lord to, to bless you. Okay? So um, you may stand up, please, and we will sing this prayer that's printed, uh, Prayer of the Confirmants. Dear God, continue to pour out your blessings upon Carl and Adam, uh, that as they confess their faith and as they live their lives for you, they do it truly according to your love for them, your will for their lives, and indeed what brings blessing to all people. We ask that you embrace them with your love and care, pouring out your spirit upon them and keeping them faithful uh, all the days of their life. We also ask for your blessings today to be with Deb Brummond. Uh, she continues to deal with bleeding issues. For Brady Gardner as he's making progress following his car accident. We thank you very much for the care being given to Arnie Smith and we're glad that he's now home uh, and doing quite well. We continue to pray that you bless him and help him to regain his strength. The same also is prayed for Dwayne Schumann and Ardell DeBaugh. We pray today for Nancy Hankey uh, as she's hospitalized once again for these treatments that she's receiving. Things are going very, very well, and we hope uh, she'll be able to leave the hospital soon, and, and this dealing with this cancer will indeed be, be very, very productive and effective upon her body. Continue to be with Alan Belden uh, as he receives hospice care. May he truly trust in you all of his days and, and look forward to that blessedness of the heaven that you are prepared for him. So be with us all, dear God, and help us to live every day confessing you as our Lord, following in your ways, and receiving from you one blessing after another. We pray this in your name. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace.
again, thank you for being your Sunday school and Bible class will begin in about 20 minutes. Go in peace and serve the Lord.